All right, what's up guys? So uh, today we're training chess. I'm gonna show you guys how I finish it off. Again, I'm gonna show you a technique my coach showed me. And uh, again, the goal of any exercise is to shorten the muscle as much as possible. And I see guys making a big mistake when they're doing uh, flies, whether they're with dumbbells or on the machine or with cables. Most guys finish like this. So do this at home right now. I want you to squeeze your pecs like this. And tell me what you feel more, squeezing your pecs like this or squeezing your pecs with your arms locked out. So that's what we're going to simulate as we do the fly. So when I'm doing the fly, I'm about, let's say about three quarters of the range. We're going to lock out our triceps and finish with straight arms. So we don't finish with bent arms, we finish with straight arms. Watch my pecs contract way more. Notice how my triceps are locked up here, fully short in position. That's how you maximize the recruitment of your chest. You want to get that full stretch and let your elbows come back. Remember what I taught you guys yesterday? Rewatch that video if you forget. But same thing with the seated movement. We're shortening our abdominal rib cage. Abs are sucked in, lower back's pressed in, chest is up. So we're not doing a big arch or else you're missing a lot of range. Abs are sucked in, chest is up. It's gonna take about two months to learn. And when you come in three quarters, you need to straighten up your arms and then squeeze your pecs. So you're not finishing, you're not finishing like this, you're finishing like this. That goes for your cables, that goes for your dumbbells. Again, it'll probably take you a few months to learn. This is a tough one to actually, uh, you're gonna have to drop your weights quite a bit. So, uh, uh, tomorrow we'll hit some legs, show you what I'm doing to build up my uh, hamstrings. And then in two days from now, I'm gonna show you how to uh, build up your biceps. All right, thanks for watching, don't forget to like that.